Welcome children to Geography with Juliana and today I am discussing the question answers of chapter 3 Physiography and Drainage. Okay, the first question is differentiate between the physiography of Brazil and India. First of all, we have to write the five physiographic divisions of India and five physiographic divisions of Brazil. Okay, that is India is divided into North Indian Plains, the Northern Mountains, Peninsula Plateau, Coastal Plains and the Island Groups. Brazil is divided into the Highlands, the Great Escapments, the Coastal Regions, the Plain and the Island Groups. Besides it, the other differences which is tabulated in a table form here. India has very high mountains in the north and northeast with a height of 6000 to 8000 meters. Brazil does not have any such high mountains. Great escarpments lie in the south and southeast but maximum altitude is just 1000 meters. Himalayas and the western Ghats influence the climate of India. The great escarpments influence the climate of Brazil. India has Ganga as its major river in the north and many north, south, east and west flowing rivers. Brazil has Amazon as its major river in the north. It has more of north flowing rivers but very few west and south flowing rivers. The dry arid desert lie in the west of India called as Rajasthan while or uh, the Thar desert or Marusthali. Brazil has no desert but has drought quadrilateral in the east of Brazil. India has wide fertile plains in the north. Brazil has no fertile plains but highly inaccessible dense forests in the north. India has coastal plains in the east and in the west of 7500 kilometers. Brazil has coastal plains in the north and in the east comprising of 7400 kilometers. What measures are being taken? Second question to control pollution in the rivers of India. These are the following measures are being taken to control pollution in the rivers of India. First of all, it is made obligatory by the government of India to treat the industrial waste before letting it into the rivers. The discharge of human sewage into river is treated and controlled. Electric cremation centers are set up. Many signboards and posters are put up to discourage the tourists from polluting the river. Many public dustbins are placed. Cleanliness drives are carried out. Public awareness is carried out. For example, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Explain the characteristics of North Indian Plains. Question 3. The North Indian Plains lie between the Himalayas in the north and Peninsula Plateau in the south. It extends from Rajasthan and Punjab in the west right up to Assam in the east. It is a flat, low-lying plains formed by the deposition brought about by the Himalayan rivers. The plains can be divided into Ganga Plain, Assam Plains, the Sundarbans or the deltas of West Bengal and Bangladesh. And the plains lying to the west of Aravalis can be divided as the Marusthali of Rajasthan, the fertile plains of Punjab and Haryana lying up to the Delhi Ridge. The eastern plains slope eastwards and the western plains slope westwards. Agriculture is the main occupation in the northern plains and Sundarbans are considered as world's largest deltas. The fourth question is what could be the reason behind the formation of swamps in the extensive continental location of the Pantanal? Pantanal region has a very low altitude of 0 to 200 meters. It receives the surface runoff from the Brazilian highlands. The tributaries of Parana Paraguay flow through this region. These rivers have deposited large amount of sediments here. These sediments make the region swampy. They are preserved as biodiversity zones. And the fifth question, which are the major water divides of India? Give examples. The Himalayas in the north and the western Ghats in the west are the major water divides of India. The Himalayas divide the rivers into Arabian Sea rivers like Indus and its tributaries and the Bay of Bengal rivers like Ganga and its tributaries. The Himalayas also divide the rivers into south flowing that flow towards the north Indian plains and north flowing that flow into Tibet and China. 
The Western Ghats also divide the rivers into Arabian Sea rivers or west flowing rivers that are short and swift and Bay of Bengal rivers or east flowing rivers like Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. Okay, in the next video we will discuss the short notes. So that's all for now. Keep looking out for the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.